Hi student, today we will share with you about chapter 7 Focus on light, shade and shadow This is have the homework later but now just the lecture For you know something about shade and shadow Before you start with uh, I think that's the assignment number 7 In the introduction we will see few of uh, different shapes from the building and you can see the shadow inside and outside from the building for example in the first one this is the inside from the building you see the light the sunlight coming to the building and it shows some kind of like the shade on there with the shadow if you see direct light in the object you can call that the shade but it's laid down on the floor you see the sunlight come into projects and go through the floor and you call that the shadow okay so this is example so you can see the building right here and you can see some park they have the darker color and this is the shade because it's on the building so now with the building like this you see that the curve and when the sunlight coming some of park not get directly uh, light and they have the dark color but you call that the shade for example in here you call that the shade because it's not get direct light direct sunlight now if you look at this one the one you get from building get some park in the floor and you can see that this park you call that the shadow okay and this example you can see this is the wall and something in the wall is you know it's get the sunlight and it come with the shape on the floor you call that a shadow example right here did the shadow okay so basically the concept is if you have the object and after that the light is coming for example the light right here is go directly to the part in the object and the other part from the object you cannot get directly sunlight so you see the color is a little bit darker than the one to get the sunlight right so this part on the objects you call that the shade and you get the other part it's not in the objects but it in the floor plane and because the sunlight coming to the projects the objects so that's why it get the shape right here on the floor on the plane and you call this one is the shadow so this is some kind of definition for you can see that's the light coming to the objects and the park get directly sunlight they didn't have the shade but the other park they didn't get direct sunlight and you call that the shade light and the park in the plane from the objects you can see this one and this park you call that the shadow so if the sunlight come in different direction and the shadow and the shape will be changed the shape okay so before you say it like this but now if the sunlight is change or the the sun rotate different angle and the shape and the shadow area will be changed this is one example for you can see the sunlight like this so now go a little bit with the rotation from the sun you see the sun usually come I mean the sunrise in the east and it's and in the west side but beside of that from rotate from east to west the suns need to go depend on the season for example you see on the summer the sun will be east west direct like that that means on the top very straight on the top go like this but now in the winter they start from the east but a little bit go from the east south the southern east and they go to this one the winter sunset is right here that means it belongs west and south so a little bit southern west so you can see the winter like this and the summer like this so that's why the angle and the sunlight angle come to the objects is different one so that's why the shadow right here can be changed depend on the season depend on the time the sun rotated okay 
and this is some information for you know the sun will be like this 45 degree go straight to the object and it usually from the east to the the east to the west however it's rotate like this from the south to the north you can see like this it is south and the north right here but it's go a little bit south so the sun will be like that and this will be effects on the shadow so this is some example uh, for you can see the shadow with the principal one on this one you can see when the sun when you got when you have the one point for example you have one point a and the sunlight coming so the shadow from the point it is a point even the sunlight you know go with the point you get the point so the shadow from the point is a point now if the shadow from a line you look at this the line and the sun coming right this way we start from here to here and you have when after the sunlight coming the light will be the light so that means the shadow from a light is the light but now if the shadow from a plane look at the plane right here a b c d a b c d this is the plane when the sunlight coming the shadow will be like this if you look at this one the shadow go this way and after that go this way so you get this one the shadow like this this is the shadow from a plane is a shape like this so now shadow from the solid one if you have the cubit or you have you know you know the 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 shape like the solid like this a b c d like this with the high like this and when the light is coming the shadow would be like this okay and the shape in this side on the side you cannot get directly light but the shadow like this okay so now this is some example when you draw for the shadow for the objects on 2d that's mean on the paper if you see the projects right here is the roof line and the titan line right here is the park inside from the building this is the roof line that means the eye bird view when you look on the top down and this is elevation from this one if you project every line from the roof one right here you can see elevation from the building like this this is the roof one around one here and the park right here inside you can see this one in here in the park it's a bit of slope right here it's not right there in this park so now the singular from combine and you can see that's how do you start to draw the shadow first of all you know that the sunlight come 45 degree on this side and after that in elevation it go like this 45 degree on top and after that on down like this so now we can start from any point here but we start from left to right for example you start a right here and in the in the elevation a right there after that you start 45 degree go straight to the point inside from the building and you get like this for example you create one trapezoid right here you look at the trapezoid right here a a prime to a prime here yeah so you get the point right here and you have one point right there you continue with the other point another trapezoid and you got b prime you got b prime right here continue with that so with many points on here to the projects and you have the shadow in this side for example continue with that you have c point you go with this one go straight to the building after that you create the trapezoid C C prime down here, C prime right here, and go back with the C point right there. Okay, so first of all, you select one point on the 
on the floor plan after that you project down to the elevation and you create the trapezoid trapezoid right here for any point and that point is the shadow on the projects continue with D for example D you project down D on the elevation is right here after that you create one trapezoid right there and the point right here is the shadow after that you connect on the shadow together so you get the shadow from the building this is continue with that one for example you start from E and you project down on elevation E right here and you create the trapezoid E E prime and you got E prime right here you know trapezoid E the side one equal this side E E prime and E E prime E equal and when you project down from E this one should be parallel so the trapezoid like that and you got the point right here continue with F and G and you got this one I will talk with you about this one very quick Okay, so now after you start E, F, G, you go to the end. In the end, from H, you project down H right there. And after that, you go to the line 45 degree to the A from trapezoid. Touch with the, you know, the line from the, the wall. And you get X prime. You project down to X prime and combine together from trapezoid right here so this is another line from the shadow you continue with that with another point from the shadow right here you go drop down this is drop down so you drop down and you go back there you can see that's the end point from the project you go there and you drop down in here trapezoid you can see that digital trapezoid you create this from I and you combine with this one so you get the shadow right here M if you have this one you can go the same I am pram but the distance is right here so the distance is right there and you go to M right there the end from this one you go with N to the wall drop down trapezoid and you got this one the end right here is the end from the building so you go back this one this is trapezoid and and bright and bright and did it to trapezoid okay so now you can buy on up the point you got this and you shade it. and this is the color for the shadow okay so this is the one when you get the final you shade that like this so you know this is a shadow from the wall and this is a shadow from the object that's mean the object inside here you have inside here so you got the shadow on there from the root one from the root one so now if for example this one you can see that you can create the point from you from V and after that you go with the wall you go down here V right there on the roof one and you go straight down trapezoid and you got V right here continue for you you can do like that and you can do this one for you from T and you do like this and like before you have A you can do like this and you combine on of the point together so you get the shape this is the one for the first part you can go from the point in the object you can start with this point and you go like this down for trapezoid and like this first point this is the first point right there so you get the first point right there and next one is s r go back r and like this and continue with that with the n one so now step by step you follow each of them 
for the step just the first one you need to create the trapezoid and you remember trapezoid side equal the other side this time and you create it's a trapezoid and you mark the point when you have a lot of point you can buy together and you have the shadow and you can shade this one we will have one homework for that one um, I think that's the assignment number seven or six something and you will do with the shadow we have uh, many shape from the building and you need to create the shadow this is some example so you can see the shadow in the concept when you're sketching when you do the floor plan or you when you do elevation or the side plan and you have the shape for the shadow there's a shadow like this Uh, this is some of uh, isometrics parallel for the shadow some of the solid building you have the shadow right here but something more for the projects you need to do from some other one so that's why when you have the shadow it will be gap and it's be combined for another shadow the same building but you have two times from the shadow look like ship like this one you have the shadow like this after that next one in another building so the shape will be uh, gap on here and it go with this one this is the shadow from the cylinder and you can see this one from the shadow from the building also yeah okay so this one form of the shadow for you can see um, very similar with the one you had before but it's the curve and you can see the curve is a uh, when you have the curve and when you do the point the curve shadow is some different one like this did the curve when the curve building this is another example from the shadow and elevation for you can see that um, the shadow is will be like this and in this side it look like this Another example, another example for the shadow inside exterior. more example from the shadow isometric parallel you can see uh, the building close together so the shadow from this building can be you know in other side from the building and this uh, one is the building and you can see the shadow is look like this when the light coming show like this one uh, this one is another building but separate but some of the shadow from the small building can, you know, uh, infect on the high one. And the shadow line is look like this. Few more examples so you can see the shadow on the side plan. When you draw from the birth view, look at the side plan from the top one you can see that some of the shadows look like this you can see that it depends on the sunlight coming to the building but this is the shadow you can see the dark color same thing with this one you can see some of the side plane shadow like this and this one is the curve so the shadow like this this shadow like this okay another example from the roof one same thing when you look from the top view or birth view you can see like this and this is very far but you can see the shadow like this okay so that's all for the chapter just the shadow but um i think that's uh you need to review chapter six now from two point perspective because i think that's a uh, the shadow will become to next chapter 
I mean next assignment but right now you continue to do for two point perspective we have at least two more for draw the two point perspective okay so this is the chapter shadow light shade and shadow chapter seven okay thank you for watching and see you next time